We're gonna do some straight talking on this channel. It's time. We're grown-ups here. We're gonna talk like grown-ups. We're gonna learn how to keep your bees alive. Losing or reality killing half your bees or a third of your bees or a quarter of your bees every winter, that's BS. It's absolute garbage. How you doing YouTube beekeeper community? I'm Andrew Thiessen with Honey on Wales. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina in the USA. Maybe you know me from Instagram, maybe you don't know me at all. I'm a bee farmer, I produce nukes, that's my jam. I make a little honey along the way after nuke season. I, I've, I've farmed bees for 12 years now. The first seven years I had a lot of failure. I learned in the bee club. I started my first year with one top bar beehive. I had a season of that. Learned that's all I needed. That. I learned from my county bee club. It's all hobby beekeepers. I think we had maybe two for-profit bee farmers in the club of like 400 members. I didn't learn how to keep bees alive until my eighth year of beekeeping. My guardian angel, Dale Hogan is his name. Kick-ass dude up in Manitoba, Canada. He's not afraid to straight talk. That's where you learn. If you're a person who's gonna get your feelings hurt, this isn't gonna work for you. Just go find another channel and keep killing your bees. We're just gonna straight talk here. At the hobby level, I just hear over and over and over through Instagram, 30 or 40% winter loss is normal. It's interesting they call it loss. You didn't lose your bees. Bees don't ever just die. 100 million years. Honey bees are the longest continuously living animal, insect on the planet. Over 100 million years. They haven't outlived every other freaking thing on the planet by just dying. They don't just die. They're murdered. They're killed by bad beekeeping. Not for lack of, I got your attention there. Yeah, we're not gonna hold back. Um, not for lack of heart, not for lack of caring, not for lack of effort. At the hobby level, we're just not taught the critical formula for keeping honeybees alive through the winter. Maybe your club officers or whoever's running the show doesn't know. And so they don't know how to teach you to keep your bees alive. Maybe, as I've found in certain clubs, it's political or critical information is strategically withheld because somebody has an objective. Yeah, we're not holding back. Uh, <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> um, you know, were you taught? Were you taught in your beginner bee school how to reliably produce your own queen? How to run a sustainable beekeeping operation? If you were not, why? What's more important? It, law of averages says this, if I do anything enough times over and over, I'm gonna screw it up occasionally. It doesn't matter how good you are, that's gonna happen. Pulling frames out of beehives in and out, hive inspections. I probably kill 10 queens a year. I just screw it up. I didn't know she was on there. I squished her one way or another. How do I get my ass out of a sling when I put it in there? I have to know how to reliably produce a queen. Simple as that. I can't go calling all over town or calling Bee Weaver in Texas and mail me one overnight or whatever the hell. You gotta know how to produce your own queen. Why are we not taught that at the club level? There's nothing more important and it's so easy. If you don't know, look at MDA splitter S-P-L-I-T-T-E-R dot com. Mel Disselkeen. His method of notching, he calls it OTS, on the spot, queen rearing, there's nothing easier. Do yourself that favor, if nothing else, as a beekeeper. Learn Mel's method, it's, the, it's dead simple. I learned it through his book and on the internet, and then I brought him down here from Michigan. <laughs> I think it's 2018. I brought him down here for a Saturday seminar. I funded it, it was through the club, but I funded it. I, I learned it directly from him. He demonstrated it with a stick. You don't need special equipment. It's so easy. Why aren't we taught that at the club level? There's a problem. Those of us who keep bees for profit, we're shooting for zero, zero, the goose egg, zero winter loss. That's our target every year. On a bad year, we have single digit, upper single digit, maybe on a horrendous year, winter loss. Since I was taught to keep bees alive in my eighth 
year. Can you believe that? That was in 2017. I haven't lost a single hive over the winter. And I've overwintered. I was running about 100 colonies. I'm downsizing now to give myself more time to get this channel off the ground. I I've cut it in half every year for maybe the past three or four years. So I'm down to about 15 full-size hives right now. I think I have about 20 nukes on the yard in addition to that. And I have two double divided nukes. So that's four colonies and duplex hives. Four colonies total there. So probably have 40 hives on the yard right now. A bunch of those nukes will go out the door to nuke customers, but I'm downsizing the operation. Specifically, you know, I'm in my shop. I do woodworking and welding. I want to spend more time inside this shop and I want to double down on this YouTube channel and Maker World, the other life uh, YouTube channel, which is Branch and Foundry. That's it. That's my channel trailer. <laughs> probably going to be a bunch of talk. Probably not going to be a bunch of time in the beehives. It's just going to be quick to the point bee lessons. Uh, each video, my goal is one video covers one topic within a few minutes. Three, uh, six or seven minute tops, but probably three to five minutes. That's it. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you soon.